Good morning. From Jaipur. We started our day by having breakfast at one of the rooftop cafes that overlooks Hawa Mahal. This one is called Windview Cafe. Entry to this one is 100 rupees per person. But the good news is if you then come up here to eat, then however much you spend is then deducted from your bill. So as a result, yes, it's a little bit more expensive than most of the breakfast that we've had in India so far, but for this view and an opportunity to take some photos, then it seems worth it. And compared to a lot of the other places around here, this is actually one of the more affordable options. So as a result, I think we've done pretty well. Now that we've eaten, then we're gonna pay up and then we're gonna head into the Hawa Mahal. Just so you know, this is actually the back of Hawa Mahal. You have to go around the corner to get into the front. And that's what we're just about to do. Welcome to Hawama Hau. This is a palace built of red and pink sandstone. Construction was completed on this in 1799 by the Maharaja at the time, also known as the Emperor. The reason that this palace was built in the first place is so that the royal ladies could look out the windows and see what was going on in the streets below. They could observe daily life and the festivals without being seen themselves, which is why at the back of the palace, which is the most beautiful part, you see so many windows in this like lattice design that kind of goes up like in this honeycomb fashion. And just in case you were wondering, there are a lot of windows to choose from. I think the article we read said something along the lines of 953. That's a lot of windows and a lot of ladies that can do a lot of watching. Lots of viewing options for you. just the aesthetic of the building itself but when you start going up all of the levels to the top then the view that you get of the rest of the city is second to none. You can see four miles out to the mountains, out to the rest of the city, everything. So it's really good to come here just for that light. And now we're going to take on some more water and maybe take a little bit of a break before then going on to the city palace. to the city palace. Construction of the city palace started in 1727 under Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh II and it only took five years to complete. It functioned as the ceremonial and administrative seat of the Maharajas of Jaipur and still houses the royal family of Jaipur to this day.
This palace, along with Hawa Mahal, make up part of what is known as the Pink City. The reason for this was due to a visit from Prince Albert in 1876, and the city was painted terracotta in order to welcome them. However, due to sun damage, then the building started to turn a shade of pink, which then gave it its nickname. We just finished walking around City Palace and it cost us 700 rupees per person to get in, which is like $11.50. It is expensive and we had heard mixed reviews, so we were uncertain of if we should come here, but we decided we're only here once, so let's do it. Admittedly, when we went in, we were very impressed by the buildings, but the first thing that happened was we saw a bunch of very nicely dressed men all under a shaded tree. And the instant that they saw us, then a bunch of them leapt up and started saying that they were tour guides and kept on offering us guided tours for money that we specifically said that we didn't want to spend, nor did we have, because we were on a budget. And that continued to be probably about the first five to ten minutes of our journey in here, which wasn't necessarily the most fun experience. However, I would say that this has actually been completely worth it. It exceeded my expectations, probably because I had heard mixed reviews, so my expectations going in were low. But this place is absolutely beautiful. And the 700 rupees gets you access to a textiles museum, which goes over India's prowess in polo, which I thought was really cool. You get to go and see a weaponry museum that has a bunch of like swords and daggers and this really cool mace. Mm -hmm. And we got to go into this gorgeous courtyard that had amazingly beautifully colored decorated gates and then one of our favorite rooms was the throne room mm. and oh my goodness the ceiling was absolutely beautifully painted it was huge and light and open even the walls had some really interesting like lattice carvings on it and around the exterior of which you walked it had a history of all the maharajas so I thought this place in the end was actually not really good value, but it was worth the 700 rupees that we paid. I would say so. I think the only downside is that we can't show you anything because as you go into each of the different exhibits, then there is a strict no photography or videography policy. So it did kind of hamstring us in terms of being able to show you why you should come here. But certainly going in person and experiencing this is definitely something that is worthwhile. So we do recommend doing it. Yeah, I hope that just taking photos of the exterior encourages you to come here. I wouldn't have wanted to risk the 500 rupee fine for taking a video or photo. But I think from my perspective, I think what was kind of cool is like certainly when we've been going through Delhi and Agra and we've been going around the forts and all that kind of stuff. It looks like the kind of layout was really designed for kind of more outdoor living, whereas this seemed to have been more like kind of the sort of palaces that we're used to from the Western world, really, where a lot more stuff is done inside. And so there's a lot more covered areas and a lot more shade in there. So you can get more of a sense of what court life was like for the Maharajas and their families. I thought this was really fascinating, a great place to visit. A good time all in all, really. We're hungry, so we're gonna go and find some lunch. We had spotted this, what is it called? Pakora. A pakora stand on the street earlier, so I think we're gonna try and go check that out. Can't wait. We've got 
forgotten pakoras. For anybody who's used to an English restaurant, I think this is like the equivalent of a bhaji. Um, but yeah, it's seemingly deep fried veg of some variety. I think this might be potato. And this looks to be some kind of sauce. So let's give it a try. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Like the, the sauce in itself seems to be kind of like a bit of a chutney. It's got a bit of spice to it. Um, and that's really nice, but the pakora itself, it just imagine like kind of popcorn anything, but in veg form. And you can just dip it and eat it. Like this is gonna be a very dangerous discovery because um, this serving only cost 60 rupees, so one whole dollar. So we could keep going back here a lot. After we had lunch, we just kind of chilled out by watching Homeland and then we did some Instagramming and Nick did some editing, but we don't have anything else planned for today. So with that, until next time, take care. And keep smiling.